Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, it is sneak peek day. So I'm going to be showing you guys all of the balance changes coming with the next update and also all the map pool changes. So make sure you're sticking around to the end. Make sure you're liking the video. Make sure you're subscribing for all future sneak peeks and a dive into the meta. So before we get into today's video, make sure you're using a credit code in the shop with, with the new update. Mine will be greatly appreciated. And also, you're going to have to bear with me a little bit today as well. I'm still super sick. So yeah, my voice and myself might be a little bit off, but uh, yeah, without further ado, let's jump into today's video. All right, guys. So first and foremost, we're going to be starting off with the map pool changes, and then we're going to be going over to the balance changes. So uh, first off, we're starting with gem grab. So the only maps that have changed, there are three maps that have been removed from rotation. That's going to be Stardust Storm. It's going to be Twisted Torpedo and Gem Bash. And the ones that have been added into the game, also check out that uh, cool animation with the gem mine. I think that's really, really epic. They've actually changed that as well. But yeah, the new ones that have been added, uh, Diamond Dust. I think this was one made by Ash. Not too sure about this one one this one really wasn't liked in the community last time when it was out everyone kind of seemed to hate it uh but yeah it's back full squared as well a really og map i think they're bringing back a lot of og maps which i do uh, like and let's see if the meta actually is really good on it and then the last one as well is rustic arcade and i think that's a long more long range map so that's going to be a gem grab okay guys so moving into the next mode which is showdown i don't really play showdown too much but you guys definitely wanted to hear it last time so i'm going to be going through the changes only two maps removed i believe it's stormy planes and a trap map and there's two maps that have been added back Cavern Churn. I didn't even know that was removed out of the game, but that is back now. And then also Stocky Stockades. So they're the only two map changes. Okay, so next up we have Heist and some quite interesting changes this time around with the Heist uh, map pool. So there's three maps that have been removed and didn't really like any of these. That was Cover Crowd, Bandit Hook, and Spring Onions. Three have been added. So we've got GG Mortuary, which is returning. We have Bridge Too Far and Beach Combers. So if you guys have played the beta, I don't know how long this map hasn't been in the game for, but it seems like it's not been in the game for a very long time and everyone seemed to love this map so it'll be interesting to see if in the new meta it'll be a good map or not but definitely one i used to love back in the beta days and then also as well beachcombers not too sure about this map again another beta map which a lot of people kind of liked kind of didn't but it'd be interesting to see and obviously gg mortuary as well uh, interesting to see these maps come back so next up we have bounty two maps have been uh removed and two maps have been added so the two maps that have been removed are storm attack and flank maneuver and the two new maps are hideout and xl so hideout again a really og map i don't think it's been in the game for probably two years i reckon it's been such a long time it's quite interesting one it's really open uh, i think the last time i played this map i think like leon was meta and like dynamite and like brawlers like that so be a little bit crazy to see what's actually meta when there's 49 brawlers in the game right now and also an xl as well so a good map coming back so those are all the bounty maps okay, so next up we have brubble so only three changes with brubble surprisingly so there's three maps have been removed that is side strike uh wave dash and retina and then going into the maps that have been added we have uh saloon slam i think that's how you say it uh power shot and center field so saloon slam that looks like a decent map but i think uh, it wasn't too bad last time it came out. Power shot as well wasn't too bad of a map. And then we have center field as well, which was a little bit weird, but a little bit tank heavy inside of this one, but some nice changes. Okay, so next up, we have a siege. So two maps have been removed from rotation and two maps added. So the two maps that have been removed are Power Washer and Rust Belt. And the two new maps are Junk Park and Mech Match. So two... Uh, maps old maps coming back jump out kind of forgot about this map this used to be like a staple in the siege meta be interesting to see whether that returns to competitive or not and then we have mecha match as well which used to be an okay map used to be a little bit off meta so kind of nice with siege and now moving on to hot zone as well so as you can see there's only been uh three changes here so you can literally just see it on the screen right here we've got breakout brawl open business and control chaos that have been added so i'll show you guys right now so we have breakout brawl uh, which made by Mordis. Okay, he, he creates a lot of maps. I, I think he's made all three of them. Surely not. Okay, he's made all three of the new Hot Zone maps. All of them look uh, fairly interesting, to be fair. And the three, uh, the three Hot Zone maps that have been removed. It's Time Warp, Iron Cables, and Sabotage Strip. Which all of those weren't really good at all. So it'll be interesting to see. And obviously the OG maps are still staying the same with Hot Zone. I'm not going to be covering a uh, knockout, but... Of course, I can just quickly go. I don't think any of them have changed knockout. I'm not too sure, but I'll just scroll over there anyway. So that's going to be all the map pool changes. Let's hop into the balance changes now. All right, guys. So the first buff in the balance changes, we have Penny. So Penny only has one change. So her HP has gone from 4,480 to 4,760. So only like a 280 difference on Penny. I don't think it's going to impact too much in the meta, but still a nice change to Penny. So next up on the balance change buffs, we have Daryl. So Daryl's base HP has gone from 7,000 to 7,400. 
420. So a 420 difference. At least it's a buff in his HP. I think this might be able to bring him into the Poco Double Tank meta a little bit. Uh, but obviously, there's no changes with his star powers or gadgets yet. But it's still a nice welcome change. All right, guys. So the next buff is with Ego. So Ego obviously been one of the worst brawlers in the meta for such a long time. But the life still with Ego has gone from 25% from the damage that he deal to 35%. So this could be really interesting, especially if you jump on multiple people. Like, you could easily stay alive. It could be really hard for you to uh, actually die. And obviously, like, the main thing about Edgar is that it just seems to get shredded a little bit too easily. So this could be dangerous, especially in showdown. Okay, guys. So next up, we have a buff to Jean. So his second gadget, Vengeful Spirit. It's been one of the worst gadgets inside of a game. But we've now changed it at a max distance. Instead of dealing 800 damage, it deals 1,000 damage. So I don't think this is really going to make a difference in terms of which gadget it's going to be meta but it's still a nice change and obviously vengeful spirits has been absolutely terrible for a long time so maybe we might see it meta on some long range maps who knows all right guys so moving into the next buff which is probably the biggest buff within the next set of balance changes we have squeak so squeak has had multiple changes to his uh kit so the first one being his main attack projectile speed has increased by 25 percent which you can see already straight away is just such a huge improvement the next big thing as well which everyone's been crying out for is this super so as you can see as well the super will just explode instantly which he's definitely been crying out for especially on aggro brawlers it just felt like squeak would just always die or at least get a trade he would never actually survive because of his aggro brawlers and the just delay between each shot but his super is absolutely perfect now you can see just instantly explodes the throwing suit uh, the flight time is actually constant as well with his super and also the last one is that if you stick the same target the next well the last uh, attack just explodes instantly as you can see by these ones so some really nice changes especially if you like auto aim onto uh, just for example like this boss the, all the blobs are just going to instantly explode which i feel like squeak could secretly be one of the best brawlers in the next meta so next up on the buff list we have Bo. so Bo again has only had a small change he's just had his attack damage increase so his attack damage was 784 per hour, hour. it's gone up to 840 per hour so it's really only gone up like 168 uh, in damage well per piece of ammo which isn't really a lot but still any sort of buff for bow is very welcome all right guys so next up with the buff list we have poco so poco has had two changes with the next set of balance changes so the first one being is with his screeching solo it's gone from 800 damage to 1000 i don't think this is really enough to make it meta who actually uh, knows it'll be interesting to see whether it actually makes a bit of a comeback uh, but then the second gadget as well protective tunes immunity goes from one second to two seconds i don't think this changes anything really i might be wrong with this one but i just feel like it needs a rework but those are the two changes with poker all right guys so moving into possibly the biggest buff with the next set of balance changes we have mortis and so mortis now has cold snake as a passive ability that is absolutely crazy i think this is literally the most perfect change for mortis has ever been but i feel like creepy harvest now might get out of control a little bit so it takes 4.5 seconds for it to uh fully charge but with cold snake star power it actually removes that delay by 1.5 seconds so with cold snake it takes three seconds for that long dash and with creepy harvest it takes 4.5 seconds which is going to give some big love to creepy harvest for sure and i feel like we're going to see mortis right at the top of the meta with creepy harvest it's going to be absolutely insane the survivability that mortis is going to have and it's the perfect change because uh, with the ammo change it only really affected mortis like uh, really badly because he had to wait for that cold snake to charge uh, even longer so this is going to be really interested um uh, kind of curious to see how this one plays out all right guys so moving into the last buff in the next balance changes we have shelly with her clay pigeons gadget i know you guys are absolutely loving this one it's probably been the best change for our every single balance change so far this video so clay pigeons now has a five second duration which is absolutely insane i don't think it's gonna be meta breaking but it's definitely a nice change it definitely will feel a lot more rewarding before you just used to just shoot it and it just did nothing but maybe with five seconds you're going to be able to do something with it so yeah that's going to be the final change with Shelly. all right guys so now moving on to the nurse with the next set of balance changes we're starting off with el primo so el primo now takes 16 hits to charge his super in comparison to the previous nine so i think this is near enough the perfect change for el primo the problem was is that his super is a lot better than the other tanks that have the trait and he just used to cycle super way too quickly so i think i require more hits to get that super is the perfect change and we might finally see primo drop down a little bit in the rankings all right guys so next up we have a bell with the next nerf so the next nerf with bell her positive feedback shield is only now 20 percent in comparison to 25 percent. so i think 
It's still a nice change, but I think the overall kit for Belle is just far too strong. And I think she'll definitely still remain at the top five of the next ranking. All right, guys. So with the next nerf, I've just realized how detrimental it is to Jean. So uh, whilst doing the math, you can see here the damage has gone from 1,512 to 1,344, which is a huge change. It's nearly like a 200 damage reduction. I feel like we might be seeing Jean outside of the meta. So as you've seen there, I healed up for 600 as well with his gadgets. So uh, passive you can't actually just use your gadget and heal it up so a lot of times i just used a gadget because I, I could just gain a little bit of healing from it but now you have to actually get a brutal and knock them back to actually get that healing so yeah i feel like gene is not going to be meta in the next update all right guys so with the next nerf we have stu so stu has had a few changes so the good one that i definitely really like is that with the gadget you actually need your super to activate it and also it only deals 200 per debris so definitely a really nice change uh, to this gadget as you can see i can't activate i need a super to uh, charge it and also with gas heal as well you only actually heal up 400 which is the perfect change i feel like gas heal just got a little bit too much value and i really like how super actually listened to feedback and especially uh regarding stew i think i said like uh gas heal should go down to like 400 and also with the gadget needing it super it's like some perfect changes with stew but i still feel like it's going to be really strong in the meta okay guys so next up we have nanny so nanny's change is actually really nice a lot of people really got frustrated at this return to send a gadget so this has uh gone uh, but it's obviously got duration you can see the bar going down it used to just literally last forever but now it's only five seconds so shooting star was the main reason why they've changed this it was just a really stale meta and everyone just used to complain that it used to basically be invincible for such a long time like you could just tank pipe shots enemy uh nannies as well but now with this change i feel like it will be situational rather than just having that shield at all times all right guys next up on the nerf list we have sandy so as expected the new sandy gadget has been nerfed so it was a 1.5 second stun now it's only for one second so i feel like the mechanic overall is just still a bit too strong with sandy because his normal attack is just so good like the ability to wall peek and just easily uh, be able to start your super risk gadget but still a welcome change uh 0.5 second nerf okay guys so lastly on the nerf list of course we have my boy rico so rico's bouncy castle uh, gadget has now been reduced from 300 healing uh, per bounce to 250 so i wonder if this will actually make an impact on his survivability i don't think it'll be too much but at least it's a nerf to see whether it impacts him or not but as you can see 250 uh, per healing there so definitely a welcomed change but we'll have to see whether it's still op all right guys it's gonna be it for today's video i hope you enjoyed this one let me know down in the comment section below what balance changes you're uh, happy about seeing and ones you're not happy about seeing let me know your general thoughts in the comment section below really interested to hear what you guys think i'll also on my second channel be diving into the balance changes a little bit more just giving you guys my um more opinions on it like my, my actual thought on who will be meta and whatever else so yeah but de definitely make sure to check that one out uh, after this video uh, but yeah i think the main ones really like gene that damage is really going to hurt him in the meta ego might be potentially dangerously op with that life steal we have mortis which is an absolutely huge change with the cord snake be really interesting to see with creepy harvest and then lastly the squeak change uh, with like no delays on the super and less delay on the shooting mechanic as well secretly it could be really annoying so definitely some interesting changes i don't think the meta will change up too much uh but we'll have to go uh, wait and see obviously but yeah that's gonna be it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time